So what happens when time runs out? You hang it on the wall, and I'm going to show you an easy way with 3D printing to do just that. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I solved a challenge with hanging this clock on the wall in a better way. Now, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to show you the challenges I faced. And you guys have probably faced this too. So, kind of a long story short, we have two holes that we have to line up on the wall. Now, I know there's plenty of tools. I've created jigs myself in the past for this, and I have a couple, you know, store-bought solutions. But I wanted to do something different because, number one, I didn't want to go with drywall anchors or anything big. This thing's super light, doesn't take a lot. If I used regular... Um, uh, picture hanging pins that wouldn't quite work well with this so I needed a solution that didn't tear up my drywall big time but yet would support the weight so I turned to 3d printing and designed this guy so kind of a long story short I whipped this up to be a little bit proud of both sides of these openings and to have two pins on the end now the tops of these pins I also filleted to improve printability because you will need supports there is a bit of overhang and it's too much overhang to bridge directly so I did use supports but the fillet means I can use less supports and there's less attachment I would also use suggest if you're going to use Cura use um, add interface uh, to the supports makes it a lot easier to clean up and then kind of long story short what we simply do is we take a pair of pliers and then I just pinch the uh, support material short of the pin if I get it out here I just pinch the short support material pull it out on both and it came off pretty cleanly so as you can see here not bad at all now the idea is I also placed two holes here for picture framing pins uh, to go in there so I'll use a larger picture framing pins put a level on top square it up and then what happens is this just slips right on here and boom Bob's your uncle this is now hanging on the wall you want to take it off you just slide it up and it comes off I also filleted these uh, a bit so the heads of the uh, framing pins would sit down into that a bit uh, so there is a little bit of room between this but not much because I want it to be fairly flush to the wall uh, if you will and so there it is so hopefully you guys found this interesting and if you're facing similar types of challenges mounting things on the wall 3d printing can be an excellent productive solution to solving your problem without tearing up a bunch of drywall so if you found this interesting or inspiring which is the idea behind these videos please give it a big thumbs up don't forget if you're not a subscriber subscribe over there hit the bell so you're notified of new content swag shops up in the corner and hey we'll catch you in the next video where we design something else cool cheers Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on